welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms going to present the third lecture on dynamic of machinery uh, the have unit number 4 that is balancing that we have to seen the first part also the static balancing now in this case we have to seen the dynamic balancing now the what is balancing it is a uh, also seen in the static also that is the center of rotation and the center of mass for the gravity is being at the cone side then the it is balanced if there is a graphical method the polygon should be closed then again the types of balancing that is we have seen also starting and dynamic what about the dynamic balancing so different masses different uh, planes are placed and uh, with that some forces are acting with some length so unbalanced forces are also acting and unbalanced couples are also acting so these both are being zero under that situations there is a dynamic balancing is happen dynamic balancing system is quite simpler one now see the rotations with some particular forces are acting uh, playing on it so m1 r1 omega square is this particular force with some distance l okay and mt is also the same forces so if these two couples are same under that situation the system is balanced now the method of balancing method of balancing is quite simpler one again the same m1 m2 m3 these are the masses r1 r2 r3 these are respective radii and the theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 with the respective angles l1 l2 l3 with the distance of the mass m1 m2 m3 from the reference now these are the the some the steps to be followed in order to calculate the the uh, forces or the couples this is analytical method m1 r1 omega square plus m2 r2 omega square and m3 r3 omega square so quite simpler one again dm r mcr these are the forces okay quite simpler one just put all these values now after the putting all these value we are got some the theta angles okay quite simpler one now the balancing of the several planes now this is the example that we are being asked in the examinations so so different masses are the different plane so that's why we have to put the different length directions cla lb lc ld with the from reference either we have to take the one plane as a reference or in between the any plane we have to take the reference plane so from that we have to measure the all these values so again you have to just tabulate in the form that is plane weight w radius r force that is omega square distance that is l m and balancing force omega square and g so this is all about dynamic uh, balancing it's quite simpler one you have to just put all this value in the tables and just plot the other graphical method or just put all this value in the some formulation we are got the unbalanced force okay so from the unbalanced force it is a partially balanced or balanced we have to see in that so this is all about the dynamic balancing so thank you